So um, I'm Becky, I'm a third year politics student um, and I'm the campaigns officer at Mental Health Matters and this is my first year in the society. So before this year I didn't even know it existed. So it was only through working for the tab that I found out that it existed. I decided to access the counselling service. First time I went I had a triage assessment and they said that my case wasn't serious enough and that they couldn't offer me any help. And then the mental health side of it got worse and I tried again and told them that I'd considered suicide a few times and then they were like, okay, we have to help you now because we've got a duty to help you there. And then I had six weeks worth of counselling and nothing else. I think signing up to something, especially with Magic Magic being a more notable mayor than ones we've had in the past, I think through having to sign up to that or choosing to sign up for that, they're committing to doing something for mental health. And then through last week it being our mental health week and the university noticeably doing stuff around that, I think all these little things are slowly helping improve services. In terms of the suicide, minister, the suicide awareness minister, um, I think that could help. I think until there is something actually done within that department, I think it'd be difficult to say. But I think having someone at the top echelons of government doing something about it is a really good step in the right direction. Um, but until they actually do something, I kind of holding judgment on it. At the moment, resources are stretched as it is, and they are putting it towards developing new buildings or getting more expensive lecturers in or paying the chancellor, like all these different things where money isn't necessarily necessary. Um, like you can live without an extra building, but if somebody feels like they're suicidal, the money needs to go there. So I think that they're prioritizing wrong. I think they need to set up a dedicated program and resource for students, um, like a website or something related to the health service or even completely separate from that, which has got a bit like the Mind website, lots of different options, loads of PDFs and documents and things giving students information on what they could be going through because a lot of students I know self-diagnose and they convince themselves they've got one thing and then they go to the doctors and get told they've got something completely different. So I think having loads of information in one place, having lots of resources in one place, um, pumping more money into the counselling service because counselling can be really, really useful but because it is so oversubscribed and underfunded then you can't use it unless you're really, really in a gravely bad place and by that point it's some people it's too late and even if you do have counselling it doesn't necessarily help so I think putting more money into it and dedicated resources to mental health.